Hello, I'm Lee from Data Harvest, and in today's video, I'm going to show you our wireless colorimeter antipodity sensor. This video is already up online showing how the colorimetry side of the sensor works, uh, but in this video today, we're going to show you the turbidity side of it. Uh, to give you an idea of what's actually here, you do get uh, five cuvettes with it as well. You all know what a cuvette like, uh, looks like. I won't show you that part. With the colorimeter as well, you get a USB lead. So you do have a USB lead on the back just there as well. And if we hold the button on the back for a couple of seconds, that's now broadcasting Bluetooth. Once you hold, there you go. So it's now flashing away and broadcasting. Now we've done it a little different with our colorimeter sensor. It also does stability, which is brilliant. But we have three adapters. We have one for cuvettes that you can slide in the top, which we don't need for this experiment today. You have both of these could take test tubes. That's the smaller test tube, but those both takes file as well. Uh, so one we're gonna use is this one just here. So just gonna pop that over there. And you also get a lid with it as well. Now, all our wireless sensors are uh, Bluetooth and USB. So you can connect to all the normal devices, Android, I, uh, iOS, Chromebook, Apple Mac, and Windows. So to prop this in, it'll only go in one way. You have a little edge on there so you can put it in the right way on here. Now we have five bottles that come with it as standard and a cloth which negates the scratches. You do really need to wipe the vial each time before you pop it into the adapter just here. So we have the NTU 100 sample. Now the turbidity pack is an optional extra pack because not everybody that buys colorimeter wants to do turbidity, hence there is a little extra pack if you want to have it. But the 100 NTU sample here, please never take the lid off. Okay, it's sealed with strong tape on purpose and it should not uh, ever be taken off. So we need to calibrate the sensor as well, but to start off with, gonna go and open the EasySense 2 software, go to devices on the top left. Now there is a six digit number on the front of the wireless sensor. If you have multiple uh, wireless colorimeter sensors in your classroom, each uh, one will have a different six digit number. So the students will know whose is whose. So I'm gonna go and click on this one finishing 104, which is this one just here. They were now connected. Now, you can see already the ranges. You've got colorimeter, then you can use transmission, absorbance, but we want to do turbidity. So we just click turbidity down the bottom and it turns off uh, the colorimetry because you can't do both together and you, there's no reason why you would ever need to do that. Now, there's two ranges. There's a 200 and a 500, and I want to use the 500 range for this experiment today. And we're just gonna literally do cloudiness of samples and get an NTU reading. Okay, it's nice, easy, and simple, but really difficult unless you have a turbidity sensor. So we're gonna show you how easy it is, obviously, to, uh, to do this experiment. We've got copper sulfate on there. Oh, I'm gonna go around the other, that's the other. There you go, I've got numbers on the top and did the input in the right order. So we've got copper sulfate there to show that color has no effect with stability. Now students automatically think it does, but we're gonna prove it doesn't. So we've got that. We've got pond water in the middle, and then we have, just check in, apple cider vinegar on the ends there. Now, the pond water and the apple cider vinegar just needs to agitate very slightly before you use it, but you'll see that when I go through here at the moment. So I'm gonna click on calibrate. It tells you at the top you need your 100 NTU sample. They have arrows on, and there's arrow on the label there as well, so the arrows need to be pointed to each other. All this all this information is in the worksheets and in the manual, so I'm sure you will be following the worksheets as well, so just that will guide you accordingly. So I now go and click on Calibrate. See down the bottom it's doing a percentage, the progress, it doesn't take very long. Once that's done, we've also got here, we have a 0.3 NTU sample, so that is a double distilled H2O. In our worksheets, it shows you how to mix that up. You've probably already got it in your science lab, but there are instructions in our worksheet as well, just in case. Oh, what's that one's done? There we go. So we just pop that to one side now. So we can pop in this one as well. Pop the lid on there again. So we're now doing the 0.3, it's actually 0.318 to be precise. And that's what your double distilled uh, should be. So we're nearly done, there we go. So we're now calibrated. Click anywhere on the screen. Click snapshot. Now, one thing I didn't do with both of those, <laughs> I didn't wipe them with a rag first, but the major thing is to wipe these ones. So I'm gonna wipe around on here. There you go. So I'm gonna pop that in there. We're now gonna go and click on start. So I've just gone into snapshot. So at the top now, you take a reading when you want to take a reading. So you're more controlled in snapshot. So we take the first read and we can show it's zero, hooray, which shows nothing. That has no effect, color has no effect on turbidity. So that's a really good one to start off with. So we're gonna to go to the second one on here. So it should be an oily rag. 
It does come with the uh, pack, so it, is, it does come with it. So we now go and take our second reading. Oh, I didn't agitate it. There we go. So let's just do that very slightly and pop that on. So we now take a reading there as well. You can see that's 92 NTU, which is absolutely brilliant. And the last one, the apple vinegar cider, agitate that a little bit. Pop the lid on and take a third reading. And you could type as you go along. So I could have typed on here as we go, pond water. So you can see that appearing in there and you can type copper sulfate. So you can see how easy it is to add the comments, which the students should do as they're doing the experiment there as well. So that's really cool way to do it. But that's again snapshot. I'm going to carry on using the apple uh, vinegar cider. I'm actually going to do it against time, log against time. So if I go and click on start, sorry, click on stop even, go to home. Don't want to save that data. That's fine. Go and click on graph. We can start, but agitate that again. Put the lid back on, click on start, and you can see how quickly that starts to come down. There you go, it's just settling and now it's dropping nicely. Oh, brilliant. See, at the first, or let's have a look, the first seven, eight seconds, it was still mixing around. It's now starting to settle. And you can see that starting to drop nicely. So oh, that's really good. So you can leave that on there as long as you like so you can see what it will come down to to show the minimum NTU when it's all still. There you go. You have the idea on the experiment. I won't sit here so you can keep seeing the experiment on there. But as that's actually logging, I'll leave that logging for a moment. Other experiments you would use with turbidity is population growth of microorganisms, uh, cleanliness measurements of water, so water quality. Uh, dosing biomass growth, you've got algae bloom, there's quite a few different experiments where you can use for turbidity and we have worksheets on all of these that are on our website to download. Now there's also lots more videos on our website as well, so if you go to uh, data-harvest.co.uk, click on teaching at the top and click on secondary academy. Lots more videos in there and when you watch one of the videos, if you click highlight the bell down the bottom, that will allow notifications. So next time we put a video up, you'll obviously be informed about it, which will be great. The software is a free download of all the app stores. And if you have any questions at all, please just email us here, which is sales at data-harvest.co.uk. Thank you very much.